I studied use at for caps I studied useful bone compressions. CTE or chronic traumatic encephalopathy is when your brain starts having pieces that disappear. This happens to a lot of football players from getting hit in the head. I wanted to study how CTE and other studies are affecting if parents are allowing their kids to play. Did you know that since 2009, youth football attendance is down 14% on ages 6 to 18? The good thing about this is that it has been up since 2015 and flag football is up, which means people are still interested in the sport. You might be asking yourself, why are you saying that people being interested in football is such a good thing? America needs football. Think about Texas without football. It would just be another state. <laughs> Most people don't play the sports football because of a risk of a head injury. But in the youth, it, at the youth level, how many head injuries do you really see? According to Scarsdale Youth Football Head Coach, Andrew Gavoris, the high school football team has had one concussion in the last five years. So there are ways to train smarter and try and avoid concussions, including different practice methods. In Scarsdale, Scarsdale has adapted a method where there is only contact for, 40 minutes, contact for only 40 minutes a week. The rest of the week, they work on technique and form and they still get the same results as someone who works on hitting each other and tackling all week. Another way to improve the concussion rate is educate the kids on concussions. A lot of teams now read the warning labels on the helmet, which says that a helmet is not a weapon and that you should not strike anyone with a helmet. This has helped prevent concussions maybe. Technology? The technology that goes into a concussion is also evolved. The, in 26, the winter of 2016, the NFL donated $100,000 to Vices, which created the Vices Zero One. Unfortunately, the, the Vices Zero One is an adult on the helmet, but Vices did say over the next few years they will, they will come out with a kid's helmet. For now, there's the Vidal Speed Flex. The Speed Flex is what I have here. The difference between the Speed Flex and other helmets is that speed flex have a lot of extra padding which can lower the rate of head injuries. In football you hear so much about the concussion protocol, but do you actually know what they mean when they say that? A lot of Scarsdale has adapted a method where anytime a player is acting differently, a coach can see a, a difference in a player's attitude. Coach Rewards will have another coach lock up the player's helmet to not, so that he cannot play and risk further damage. The NFL and NCAA do it almost the same way, except that they can do code of, they can test if a player has a concussion during the game because the tech is a bit better. Everyone thinks that football has the highest rate of concussion. But according to the NCAA, it doesn't. The NCAA did a study of 10,000 student athletes in practice and games, and wrestling actually had the highest rate at 12.4 of the athletes had concussions, with football only at 6.3. Women's soccer also had a higher rate at 6.5, along with men's ice hockey at 8.2. Football can take all new paths with new studies and new training programs. Coach for Boys told me football brings everyone closer together and, and brings all new brotherhoods. Thank you for listening to my presentation. If you would like to learn more, visit my blog.